Hi everyone, it's Laura Milligan and it is Tuesday, um, May 3rd. This is the day our annual catalog goes live. So here is the catalog and today I'm gonna be able to show you some things on the inside, which is very exciting. Um, and it's, we always love when a new catalog starts that, that initial day is always so exciting. Um, I decided yesterday it would be fun to go live every day this week to showcase some of the different um, products in the new catalog. So that's what I'm going to do. So I am going to go ahead and switch my camera down so that you have a view pointing down of my hands and the projects. So give me one second here. If you are here, please say hello. Want to make? I always want to double check that I'm I've connected and set this up right. Um, I'm going to wait just a minute. I know sometimes there's a delay. Um, there we go. Hi, Debbie. A rainy day in Michigan. Rainy day here, too. Um, I'm going to go ahead and... Whoops. Sorry. There we go. Um, so I have... Um, hi, Lucy. Hi, Becky. Mary, Judy. Well, great. Hi, Marsha. Great to see everybody. Oh, Marsha, I just highlighted your comment. I don't even know how I did that. Oh my gosh. I didn't even know I could do that, so I'm afraid that's gonna be on there the whole time. Well, that's, that's fun, isn't it? Okay, well, we'll see. I don't know, can you see that comment from Marsha? I don't know if you can see that on your screen or not, but I don't even know how I did that. Oh, there we go, okay. Oh my gosh, I learned something new every day, right? So thank you all for joining me today. I wanted to, of course, show you our beautiful catalog. Up until today, we were not allowed to show you anything inside, but today, since the catalog has launched, we're able to. So this, um, this car, this suite, Hues of Happiness, is what I used yesterday. And so I can show you now um, the catalog view of that. This is the card that I made yesterday and these beautiful flowers i got a lot of really nice compliments on this one from you all so thank you so much i think it's really beautiful myself i love these rich rich deep colors and so if you leave a comment anytime i'm doing a facebook facebook live i give a draw i do a drawing randomly and pick one of the people that commented and they get the card so um this card is going to kathy poparad she just stopped by, and if I had known she was going to be the winner, I could have given her this. But, Kathy, I will see that you get this card. That's for you. But let me just show you some of the products. So, of course, the designer paper I showed you yesterday. It's the bundle, Happiness Abounds bundle. This is on page 109 of the catalog. If you don't have a demonstrator and need a catalog, please send me a message. I'd be happy to get one out to you. But... What I loved about these dyes was that they cut floral, these florals, um, the leaves and the flowers right from the designer paper. And I always love when that happens because it's a way, it's a, it's a quick way to make a beautiful card. So that is the Hues of Happiness suite. And you can see some of the cute projects that they've made. Um, I'll hold this up so you can see those scrapbook page. And here's a cute little um, treat pouch, treat bag. So today I'm totally switching gears and I am going to be using the um, Sweet Songbirds bundle and it's found on page 31 of our brand new catalog and this is a bundle, it's a punch bundle and we all love a good punch bundle, everyone loves punches, they make it all quick and um, make it quick and easy to, uh, it, oh, I can't talk today. It's a quick and easy way to make a super cute card. This card to me, I feel like um, it's so cheerful and I think that it would surely bring a smile to the, recip to the lucky recipient. Um, it would surely bring a smile to their face. So my card today, I actually took this idea. These circle dies here, the cutout, that is called Picture This dies and it has actually a set of two dies um, let me show you them I love these dies these are not new to this catalog but I have put these to good use they were introduced last year but there are two dies in this one are the circle dies and then the rectangle dies and they're all connected so you would just run this through your die cutting machine and get one 
one large piece, which I will be showing you. But I decided, I, I liked this. I thought this was super cute with the circles. And so I thought I would just tweak it a little bit and do something with the rectangular shape dies. One other thing before I go on, I wanna be sure that I don't forget to mention to you, one of the new things in our catalog that I know many of, many of us have been waiting for, myself included, is number five on page 157. It is the magnetic magnetic cutting plate. This is for the large stamp and cut and emboss machine. We had one originally and there were some issues with it and so Stampin' Up! pulled it and we have been waiting now and they finally have released a brand new and improved version of that. So don't miss that. I know that many of you um, are perhaps waiting for this and it is it's $28. It's a thin, full magnetic sheet. It has a self-healing surface and really great for holding small little dies in place. So don't miss that. I mean, this catalog is just brim full of so many, so many different ideas. So let me show you the card that I'm gonna make for you today. It's just a cheerful, happy little card featuring the sweet songbird. And this also is using some in colors. So let me pull out my parts and pieces here. I just think if I was not feeling well or just kind of down, I would, um, and I and someone sent me this card, I would just, it would just bring a smile to my face. So that's always a good thing, right? So here is, this is the piece I've already die cut it. And you can see how this just fit right over this like that, I ran it through my die cutting machine. I normally do my die cutting ahead of my Facebook Lives just to save a little bit of time. But if you have questions about how to use your die cutting machine, leave it in the comments because next time when I um, go live, I'm happy to do a quick little demonstration on how to use our die cutting machine. But um, I'm assuming most of you know, but if you don't, we all have to learn sometime and I, I'm happy to show you. The other thing I want to point out about this die is these rectangles, as well as the circles, when you pump, when you punch those out, when you run them through your machine, save these negative pieces because they actually have stitching on them as well. And you can use them on your cards, um, the circles and the rectangles. So don't throw those away, figure out a way to use them. Okay, so I'm going to set that aside a minute and just do a little bit of stamping. I am using, and this is a photopolymer stamp set. Um, and so I, well, anytime I use photopolymer, I use my mat here. This is the deluxe foam mat. It is an accessory with our stamp apparatus, but I just find I like stamping on it. And then I have this grid paper. But with photopolymer, it always is a good idea to um, have something that moves a little bit has a little bit of a cushion, you'll get a better image. And especially for a solid image like this, this bird is such a solid image. And if you use something like that will give a little bit, you will get a much better impression. You'll be much happier with it. Now I'm gonna stamp this once. This is Starry Sky, one of our new in colors. And then I'm gonna stamp it again because I decided I wanted to make my, my bird look like a bluebird. So I'm gonna, it looks like I have, you know what, let me look at my stamp. It almost looks like it has fuzz. Hold on a second here. Let me clean this off. I'm gonna stamp it again. I wonder if it maybe picked up some, some fuzz or something. Okay, I'm gonna just flip this over and start again. Okay. Not sure. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead, ink this up. Stamp it off. Yes, and that looks better. I think it just wasn't, it must have picked up something. Okay, so there we have that. I just thought it was a cute, softer color. It made me think of a bluebird. So now the nice thing about this is I'm going to slip this in place and see if I can get this turned out. Well, I might have to trim this a bit. So I always like to stamp first and then 
line this up like that. So there's my little bird. And then I'm also going to stamp the wing and I'll punch that out. And I'm also going to stamp off on the wing. So take that stamp off here. I'll just do that right there. And then I'll do my little wing right there. So that's kind of a bluebird color as well. It does look like the bluebird of happiness. You're right. Hi, crafty friends. Hi, Roz. How are you? Hi, Gail. Okay, so this goes this way. I'm going to have to trim this too. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and line that up my little wing and actually I since I'm making two of these little bluebirds I'm going to go ahead and just stamp another wing quickly here and that'll be for my um, little bluebird I'm going to put at the top so I'll slide this in like that gosh all of a sudden it started raining pretty hard here no sunshine today, so we have to create our own sunshine, right, by stamping. This card's perfect for that today because it's just cheerful and cute. Okay, so there we have that. And then I'm going to take this stamp, and let me show you on the stamp set. This stamp, it almost looks like a wing, but what it is is the little um, breast of the bird. So that I'm going to stamp in Sweet Sorbet, which is also one of our in colors. And I just, I wanted a softer look. So I'm gonna stamp this off as well. And this is photopolymer, so let's see how I do with that. That doesn't look too bad. So there's my little bird. And then I am going to do the same thing. Well, no, then I'm gonna stamp her eyes. And for the eyes, I'm going to use my black memento. And I'll just stamp her little eyes on either side of her beak. Okay, there's her eyes. And then I'm just going to take a Daffodil Delight Blend and add some color to her beak, just like that. I'll set this aside for a minute. I'll be using that again in a second here. And then I'll just take my little wing and take my glue. Anyone that knows me knows I love birds. I love watching the birds and feeding the birds and Okay, so there's that. All right, now I'm gonna do my little, my little bird. I'm trying to find, I think I've lost her wing. I may have to stamp another one. That's all right. I can do that, it goes very quickly. So um, this little bird, unfortunately, does not coordinate with the punch. So this one I'm going to um, have to, trim with my paper snips which is fine but again I'm stamping her off because I wanted her to have that lighter color look how cute that one is and then I'm going to use the smaller little breast and again I'm going to stamp off line that up and it's actually pretty easy to do because of the photopolymer I mean it's not completely perfect but I'm pretty happy with that I'm going to do the same thing. I'll add a little bit of yellow to her beak. And she needs her eyes. <clears throat> so here are the eyes. I'm going to do these in the black. There's that. 
And then let me see, I think I have misplaced that other, that extra wing. Let me see if I can find it here. Oh, there it is. Okay, good, it's right there. I just couldn't see it. So I'm gonna add her wing. I'll do that with glue as well. So I think, um, I think this, you know, sometimes when we see things in the catalog, Oh, you know what? And I'm going to I'm going to pull this off a second because I want to cut this out first. So I'm going to take my paper snips. Sometimes I think well, many, many times I think we see something in the catalog and we don't think we really like it until we see it in person. And I think that is the case with this little set. I think these birds are just pretty darn cute and um they just make me happy. And of course, you could do them in so many different colors. I just decided to make a bluebird today. It'd be cute to do like a robin or, I mean, really any color. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and trim this. And I like to turn my paper rather than um, my scissors. I hold my scissors still and kind of turn my paper and that seems to be, get a good result for me anyway. Okay, so there we have our sweet little baby bird, and I'll take her wing. I'm going to add just a, a little bit more glue on there since I pulled it off. Okay, we'll put that there like that. You could pop that up with a dimensional, but I'm going to pop the birds on the page, on the card front, so go ahead and just leave those flat. Okay, so I'm going to take... Um, my basic white, thick basic white cardstock. I'm gonna move my ink out of the way. And then I, so here is my um, little die cut front. This paper is also new. We have new color families, color stacks um, of our designer pattern paper. These are our six by six and they come in each of the color families as well as the two color in color families. So um, these are really fun patterns, brand new this year, really cute floral image. There's a stripe on the back, um, the cute polka dot, which is what I'm using for this card, but you can see these are, our, these are this year's new in color. So there's pretty parakeet. There it is with the polka dot, so cute. So Debbie Gibbons is here. Debbie, I have to say you, I got up this morning and I am an early bird, but Debbie had already been up and placed an order. So you were the first customer of mine, Debbie, that placed an order from the new catalog. So that was kind of fun to see that order come through. And thank you so much for that. You, of course, will be getting a official hand-stamped card from me to thank you, but I, I do appreciate that. So thank you, Debbie. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna, on the back, I am going to be very generous with my um, dimensionals because I want this whole frame to stand up. I'm gonna put some, these barely fit. I could use the mini dimensionals here, but the large regular size ones fit. So I'm just gonna put those there. I appreciate all of you commenting. And I will say I have had, um, Quite a few people order this Sweet Songbirds bundle today. I think it's it's actually really popular. So I have not pulled the backs off of these yet. Um, I'm gonna set this here like this. And before I attach this, I'm going to do a little bit more stamping with my black, my, my Tuxedo Black Memento ink. I'm going to go ahead and um, stamp my words. So this I'm going to put in the middle. This says a little note of thanks right there. And then I also want to do some musical notes like the little birds are singing. I'm just going to put one there. I didn't ink that up very well, but I'm just going to, I'll just go with it. It'll work. And then one there. And I didn't ink that one up either. I need to press harder, I guess. 
I'm still gonna just keep going. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is pull all these dimensionals back. Better get my ink out of the way. Yes, things are always cuter when we see a, a cute idea with them or when we see them in person, right? <laughs> that's that's what always happens. You don't think you needed or liked a particular stamp set or bundle, but then you see a cute project and somehow you have to add it to your list. Okay, so this I'm just going to center. It's flush with the top and the bottom of the card, and then I'm just centering it from left to right as best I can. And then I'm just going to attach my birds. And so what I'm going to do... So this whole frame is popped up. So what I'm going to do is just put a dimensional behind the bird's head and then just a little dab of glue on its body because that part doesn't need to be popped up. It'll be popped up when it's just resting on that, but I want to attach it. So I'm going to go like this and I'll get my glue. I agree, Gran. It is such a happy card. It just makes, that's what I, that's what I was just saying. It just makes you smile. So I have to, I mentioned this yesterday, but today, you know what, I'm going to pull this up a little while. Okay. Today is my sister's birthday. So Sarah, I, I um, wish you a very, very happy birthday. In our family, when someone has a birthday, we actually sing. We call, we call each other and sing. And so um, I called her this morning and um, sang happy birthday to her. So happy birthday again, Sarah. I love you and wish I could be spending the day with you. My oldest daughter, well, I am I was a I was a voice major in college. Not everybody knows that about me. So I used to sing all the time. I really don't sing anymore, but um my girls all sang and um my oldest daughter is an opera singer and so when she calls and sings on your birthday, it's actually pretty spectacular and special. So it's kind of fun to have a birthday on our family and have all these singers call and wish you a happy birthday. Oh, do you sing too, Marsha? <laughs> Why am I not surprised? Marsha, I can't wait until my birthday when you call and sing to me. I'm going to be looking forward to that. That would be fun. Okay. So the color of the designer paper that I'm using is and this twine um, is our new um, orchid oasis it is one of the new designer um, or one of the new in colors and i should have shown you this i pulled this out this is our in color twine um, you get all five different colors on it on their own bolt and i love these isn't that cool i love this so hi carol glad you could join us so there you have that. And then I just I just wanted to um, add a little bit of bling. So I am using the, these are the 22-2024 in color matte decorative dots. So let me open these up here. These are like ombre. I think they're really, whoop, I think they're really neat. This is sticking on the back here. So you can see they're darker on one side and then they get lighter and lighter on each side. So I'm gonna just add a couple of the strawberry, or I'm sorry, the sweet sorbet dots. I'm gonna put one there. So leave a comment today if you're watching, even if you're watching on the replay because I will announce Tomorrow, when I go live, who won this card? And I'll get it in the mail to you then as soon as I, as quickly as I can. Okay, so there is our sweet little card. And I think we all agree this would be, it's just happy and cheerful and it would clearly bring a smile to the lucky recipient's face. And I think it was pretty fun and easy to make. So let me know what you think. Do you, what do you think? Do you like this card? Are you loving the little sweet birds? I think they are pretty cute. Um, so let me show you um, the other greetings. I love this one. A little bird told me 
it's your special day. Um, there's, you've got something to celebrate. Welcome, congratulations. This, this stamp here, I did not use today, but it's actually, it could be like a little sign. Um, here are, this is like a little cord. It could be like a cord roping or a chain. You could actually stamp that on this branch here and then stamp two of those and then put this little sign in between and put like welcome or um, a little, you could put several of these words actually on that. So it's like a little sign. The other part I love about this set that I'm not using is this nest. I think that's really cute as well. So there is my card for today. So leave a message or uh, leave a comment. And um, like I mentioned, if you don't have a catalog yet, if you don't have a demonstrator, um, I would be more than happy to send you one. If you want to place an order, I, of course, I'm always grateful for your orders. You can go to lauramilligan.com. That is my blog. You will see a link there to click on to shop. And that will take you directly to my online store. And that way you know that you are ordering for me. And like I said, I would be very grateful. And I'm going to go ahead and switch my view up. So thank you for joining me today. I hope you will join me again tomorrow at 1 p.m. I'll be going live again, doing it every day this week, just sharing one card a day. Tomorrow I'll be featuring a, a completely different bundle, and um, it's a really cute card I think you will like. Totally different than the one I made today. So I look forward to seeing you then. Thank you for joining me. Please feel free to reach out if you have any questions, if you need a catalog, or if I can serve you in any way with your stamping needs, I would, I would be thrilled to help you out. So thank you for joining me. And as always, I hope you have time to be creative today. Bye-bye, everyone. Have a great day. See you tomorrow.